Hi everyone, it's Nami Kanaika from GospelThroughArts.com. It's a beautiful Wednesday. I'm excited to speak about the Word of God with you today. It gives me great pleasure and it's such a privilege to come to you daily as much as I can to speak about the Word of God. Do you know that you and I are privileged? We are predestined. We are called. We have been sanctified by God. Are you taking it for granted, my brother and sister? Many times we take our calling grant for granted. We take our preserved by God. We take our, our privileges for granted. So today I want to talk to you about someone who took his birthright for granted. And you know who it is. You already guessed. Yes, that is Esau. Esau was the eldest twins. I have twins myself and I know it is such a blessing to be the eldest even by two or three seconds or minutes um, and we can see that um, there is these twin sons that were born to Isaac and um, we can see these two sons Esau and Jacob and Jacob was the second twin and Esau was the eldest twin so even in the womb of Rebecca, there was something going on. There was some fight going on between these two unborn children. So we can see that God tells Rebecca that God has chosen already who would be leading. And even though um, uh, Esau is born first, we can see that Jacob holds the brother's leg and and is born so we can see that Esau has been given skills he is the eldest twin so he has great privileges and dad that is Isaac loved Esau loved him more than Jacob and we can see Rebecca loves Jacob more because Jacob was at home and but we can see that Esau was a skillful worker he already had the skills. God already gave him the skills that he need. And we can see that um, both the two sons, Esau, um, we can see was a skillful hunter. He was an outdoors man. But Jacob had a quiet temperament, preferring to stay at home. So Jacob would be staying at home, was mom's favorite and Esau would be going hunting and was dad's favorite because um, Esau would be bringing all these um, hunted animals and it will be a great feast for so dad really liked Esau. So finally Esau was anyway a few minutes older than Jacob so Esau was the eldest. But we can see that Esau takes his um, being firstborn for granted and we can see one day he comes back from hunting he was so hungry and just for a meal just for one meal he sells he gives his birthright to Jacob Jacob was so cunning and Jacob says um, Esau wants a meal but he's making and Esau say uh, Jacob says make an oath to me that if I give you this food food you're going to sell me the right to be the firstborn. We can see that Esau was saying that I prefer this lentil stew, this red lentil stew with bread, more than my birthright. He takes everything for granted. And he says to Jacob, take my birthright. What is it? What does it matter? I want to first eat. I'm so starving. I'm hungry. I'm going to faint now. I want to eat now more than that so we can see that he took it for granted because he took it for granted Jacob takes the birthright even after eating the meal Esau is not guilty Esau is not doesn't care Esau just walks away Jacob has taken his firstborn right birthright my brother and sister, you and I have been redeemed by God, called by God. We have a purpose and a plan and a birthright. Do we take it for granted? You have been born to the family of God. 
this is a great privilege that not everyone in the world has can you see my sparkle on my eyes this is the joy that i have to be called by god to be predestined by god to be picked by god chosen by god god i'm so grateful that out of all these people you pick me you hand pick me and call me to be a child of god do we take it for granted my brother and sister many times we take it for granted we think it's a privilege but we think that it is a right and i don't have to worry i don't have to do anything i just have an easy free access to heaven but there are many who don't have these privileges that you and i have access directly to the throne room of god and bring our request to him pray our request to him this is a great privilege so my brother and sister let us use our privilege let us use our calling let us walk not as we are sleeping but to take things for not for granted so we can see in ephesians chapter 2 it says verse 11 but don't take any of this for granted it was only yesterday that you were outsiders of God's ways. Let us not take anything for granted. Let us not take granted the sacrifice that Lord Jesus made on the cross for us so that we are set free. We are healed. We have salvation. We have eternity in heaven. Let's take our birthright. Let's take our salvation not for granted my brother and sister let us be working for our calling what he has planned for us let's pray father we thank you for your word that every word teaches us something lord many times we take things for granted we take things for granted and we take it easy but lord i pray that you give us a burden Give us a burden to remember our birthright, to remember our calling. Remember that we are predestined and called to do your will. Give my brother and sister a purpose, a plan, and a target. And to remember, Lord Jesus, that you will help us. But you have already called us, predestined us. Help us to walk humbly before you. Remember our calling remember and not to take it for granted in jesus name we pray amen so we know that the israel people took everything for granted they had a cloud pillar of cloud during the day and they had the, the bright um, fire during the night they had manna from the sky they had everything the water that they need they had everything their shoes and their clothes didn't decay they were able they were everything was provided for them but they still complained and grumbled they didn't take it for they took it for granted so my brother and sister they couldn't enter the promised land only joshua and caleb entered my brother and sister let us not take anything for granted our children for granted our salvation for granted our home for granted, our family for granted, our friendships for granted, are the word of God that we have, Bible that we have for granted. There are many churches in countries that can't even open their word Bible. They can't read the word of God. But while we can, let us read the word of God. Let's not take anything for granted. My brother and sister, let us walk humbly before our God. Let us used to things that he has given us for his glory i hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me god is faithful he is with you my brother and sister if you're going through sickness if you're going through hardships if you're going through times of hard we have bills to pay and so many things are that are overwhelming trust in god he is our jehovah jireh our provider he will provide for you he will protect you he will guide you is faithful have a wonderful day everyone god bless you share this message with your friends and your loved ones if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i think i have around 200 plus people on the youtube channel and uh, if you have not subscribed subscribe so you will get 
um, the email not, uh, not, you will get the notification and um, if you like to share with this video with others please share so that someone will hear the word of God God will speak through his word to someone's heart have a wonderful day God bless you bye